Alright, here's a little something something I figure some of you guys might enjoy or like to know. If you get you one of these things, most auto part stores have them for rent. You pay 50 bucks, you get 50 bucks back when you take it back. Is a uh, pressure tester for uh, cooling systems. Take this, stick it on your radiator, pump this bastard up. See whatever your cap says. Most caps say it on there. Looks like 19, maybe in the video. It's th 13 pounds, okay? 13 pounds. 13 pounds, somewhere on here. No, it says it. There it is. Okay, so what you do, it comes with some adapters. They're usually about 50 bucks. This is pretty much the same thing on both sides. This is actually a motorcraft here. This is like factory original gone to Ford to buy or something like that. Maybe Napa, but stick it on there. Take this little thing here. This is hard to do one handed and everything, but I'll figure out a way to do it. I have to put the camera down for a second. But uh, I blew a. My, shit. Blew my radiator up in my truck a couple days ago when it was freaking. Damn, zero degrees outside. I know, right? An ironic day to frickin' do that. Um, crap. Hang on a second. Once you get it on there, okay, then you take it and you just push on it. Push it there. See here. Not it. Nothing. Okay. Oh, crap, it ain't alright. No wonder why. Hang on a second. This thing's a little bit of a pain in the butt to stick on. Now that it's on correctly. See, it ain't holding no pressure. It should hold pressure. That was the radiator cap out of my 93 project truck. So now the radiators in that one. Here's the old one. I love these because they have a little pressure relief on them. Okay. Feels like it's good, right? I'll borrow this from work. I don't have one yet. I don't have a lot of tools yet, but it's alright. I love my boss. He's awesome. They're awesome. He, she, both him and his wife. Alright, so let's try this one. Ah, now it's holding pressure, but it ain't holding enough. It should be in that blue. It's 13 to 14 pounds right there. Getting there, I'm still in it. See, this is why I love these. So I can release the pressure before I take the cap off. new one. I just served the truck so it's still a little bit warm but it's all good. There we go. My stupid flash to quit working on my phone. Um, there we go. So it won't go above there because of pressure relief works just like it should in the vehicle so that's good then there's an awesome bill to do that right there so then what you would do if you're having a coolant leak problem and you can't ever find it on these newer cars the uh, radiator fans can turn on at any given time without warning um, so what you do is you take this over to your vehicle and if you happen to have and the frig that goes on. Um, oh, that one's looking lovely. Um, this is older equipment, anyways. But uh, um, it probably hasn't ever really been used. But uh, you take it over there and you stick it on there. And you pump it up. Okay. 
and then that pressurizes the system, and then you can find your leak. Uh, they're very, they're well worth their money. If you have to, you know, if you're if you're in the business of, of the auto industry, of the auto repair, it's worth buying one of these things. They're only about 50 bucks from OTC. It's worth the money. But, as you can see, it's a, it's a viable thing to do. It's a viable thing to buy. You can test radiator caps. Why not? You know, sell somebody radiator cap, you know? You know, it looks lovely. I don't really like the condition of this radiator, but... I ain't gonna be bitching right now because it's about three hundred dollars and that's freaking that's our cost. Um, I gotta check into trying to get it record, get my old one record because that's cheaper. Hopefully, should be even with shipping because I don't think there's any place around where I live that does that. But uh, anyways, but you know it's a good thing you can check. Um, my radiator cap was faulty to begin with. I had didn't help my situation out any. Um, so now I have to replace it, but I've got it replaced for the moment. It'll hold, it'll do me for what I need to do. Moving the shop and driving to church every Sunday. Well, pretty much every Sunday. It's ski season currently here, so I go skiing most every Sunday because I go to school during the week and work on Saturday. So it's kind of what I got to do. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Figured that might would help somebody out. You get one of these little handy dandy things here. Now again, most auto parts stores, they've got them for rent. Um, you make a deposit, normally like 25, maybe 30, 50 bucks, something like that. And normally, most places, you get that back. Um, you take that back and they'll give you your money back. Um, and that's a good way to do it. Um, you know, if you just need it once or twice. You know, hell, if you're checking one of these, pop the, pop the thing off and take it in there and test it right there and I didn't have to give them any money you know test it right there in front of them so two radiator caps that's not the trash can but it's a recyclable can trash no need for it no need to keep junk ones around but I figured I'd show you guys that real quick I figured that might help somebody out there thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this hit the like button if you like the video comment if you got any questions and I'll be happy to answer thanks for watching